I wonder how it would look at- well, I guess you wouldn't really- like, because of the fact that it was on PSP, they wouldn't really be able to show a lot of in-person in cutscenes. But I think the visual novel thing isn't too bad. I like visual novels, or rather, uh, animated comics. How do you go up these things? Is it possible Nick, to just- just go over Nick, this? What if I crouch? Yeah, well. How does he mark these dudes? No one's explained that to me in the chat yet. It's just like, uh, he's gonna mark it. Maybe it's a thing he has? No, but his character is, uh, relatively on par with mine. So it's something he knows. You have to sink? What? Yeah, yeah, you interrogate him, Randick. You do that shit. Ah, uh, you can choke him too. Or slam his ass into the ground. Bye. I found out by mistake. You need a box. He marks them by sticking to cover, going prone, and pressing L1, then RB. Eh? Okay, we don't want to do RB. Uh. Aha! I see! So if you hold L1, it snaps to some other person, and then you can just do- Oh, uh, That would explain how come you've just been randomly doing that. I get you. Ah, Dranzik! Impress us. It's the enemy. To cover. <laughs> I love just I like the communication shit. It's just so random. It's the enemy. Take cover. Snake in. Snake in. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. Uh. I know where you're coming from, buddy. Recovery subject but if you come back here, you're character. gonna have a bad time. And then you're gonna join my squad. Don't move. <gasps> He didn't come over here. <laughs> Ranzik just fucking got them both. Okay. <laughs> yeah, co-op Fulton system. All right. I think we got most of the people in the environment besides that guy right there. So, Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Thanks. Okay, I want to try something. Someone said that we have to be in sync, but someone else said that we have to be in a box. So, uh,. I'm not sure how to convince him to. Give me a hand. Come on out. I'll communicate to him through in-game things. Come on, sneak in. Sneak in. Let us sink together, Ranzik. 
We are good partners, you and I. We are capable of sneaking through the entirety of this land. Oh, it is just doing in sync. Oh, neat. Impressive. Impressive. Okay. Sneak out. So if we ever need to, like, go over objects, we just go up to it, go in sync, and boom. Although there have been a lot of situations where we really need it, so it's not massively useful at the moment, but I'm sure maybe we'll find situations for it. Uh, I think that was everybody. Let me just check this area real quick. Oh, well, look at some rations. Go, go, go. Whoops. What? I guess it's Huey got open. fired already. Huh. Damn. It won't open. What's wrong with it? Or Huey just doesn't have access to that particular lab. It's either they already took him out of the system, or he was never in the system to begin with. It's gotta be either or. What? Only rank C? Really? Is it... Because we took so long to get through the air. Wow. That's such a low rank, considering we fucked up everybody in a such a fast way. That makes me sad. Oh, well. Snake? Huey, your ID card isn't working. It won't open the lock. <sighs> it can't be. What's going on? She hates me that much? <sighs> Strange Love's in charge of authorizing IDs. Sometimes a working card has its privileges removed. Say, if she decides she doesn't like that card's carrier. You think that's what happened? Well, I was never exactly her favorite. <sighs> well, this could be tricky. The soldiers outside aren't allowed in the lab either, so their cards won't do you any good. Great. Snake. Kaz, where's Cecile? She just got here. Hold on. Snake! Cecile, how'd it feel to fly? <sighs> Wonderful. For a moment, I felt what it must be like to be a bird. Wow, she's the first it one to appreciate that. I want to give up my research and get a pilot's license. Did you need something? You said you'd gotten an ID card, right? Yes, but it was confiscated when the guards got me. Who took it? What did he look like? He had an orange jacket. <sighs> I cannot recall his face, though. Yeah, they all look pretty much the same. Where did it happen? Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes! I do remember hearing the song of a nearby cat <laughs> Just what I'd expect from a birder. Would you like to hear it? <whistles> huh? What's that song? It's my cat cell. I took it with me when I was rescued. Didn't you say something about them being covered under the Washington Convention? <laughs> just kidding. That was just me. An imitation. An essential skill for any ornithologist. Pretty good, no? Damn good. If you want to hear the cat song again, just let me know. I can tell you all about the birds of Costa Rica, too. Yeah, will do. Thanks, Cecile. No, no. Thank you, Snake. Talk to you soon. Kaz, did you play that tape for Cecile? I sure did. It's hers, all right. Then she must be. She's not. Cecile says she's never even met Poss. Whoa! What? She's at least ten years too old. But... I'm guessing Poss convinced herself that it was the tape her friend made. But never mind that. Let's go over what we know so far. The soldier with the ID card is wearing an orange jacket and is in a location where you'll hear Quetzal singing. Find that soldier, retrieve that card. Alright, but before we do that, I gotta maintain my base. 
to some research things, especially now that I realize that the the night vision goggles are actually pretty decent. Boy, I can't believe I just avoided them for like so long. To be fair, they're not all super useful outside of looking for people that are hidden, but yeah, all right. Yay, we got ration rank three. Support strike marker rank two. Should I go for that? Because throwing them is a lot faster than like setting them up, but at the same time, I'm not really too worried about it. Alright, so let us go to R&D. That's so much stuff. Alright. Maybe the Nagant? Could make it more useful as time goes on. Alright, so we are... Ooh, wow. We have a lot of guys with high R&D skill. Whoa, Cecile! Hell yeah! Guess where you're going? The mess hall. But only because your skill in there is really, really good. What do we have? Locate the ID card. Ah, yeah, that's right. Snake, to gain access to the lab, you'll need an ID card. You can get one from a guard in an orange jacket stationed in an area where you can hear Quetzal singing. To get the ID card from the soldier, do a body check. You've got to get inside that lab before the AI gets shipped out. Get a move on. Okie So basically what you're saying is, knock out every single person in existence, and take their stuff. I got gotcha. you. Scouts are outfitted with camouflage to help them hide. Some of them look kind of weird, like they've got seaweed growing all over them. Ah, ghillie suits. Not much difference between them and any other scout in terms of combat ability, but it does make them harder to spot. I'm sure it does. You've come across these before? Yeah, the Soviet Union. The first time, it took me a full hour to find the guy and take him out. Oh, the end. Guys, do you know what they shine? Shine? Like how? Like, from their heads. Their heads? How about their hair? Do they have a lot of it? What are you talking about? How the hell would I know? How about a parrot? Did anybody hear a parrot squawk? <laughs> parrot? Look, Snake, you're talking to the wrong guy. I mean, Cecile's the bird expert. Wait a second, what am I saying? You're not making any sense to begin with. Never mind. <laughs> it's a long story. I'll figure it out another way. Forget about it. Yeah, I'll do that. Anyway, we've already lost too many good people to these surprise encounters. Make sure you don't end up like one of them. Unfortunately, I didn't actually fight the end, so... <laughs> part of that doesn't, like, apply to me, but I know about the end fight. Plenty of people have commented on Metal Gear Solid, my Metal Gear Solid 3 LP going, No, you killed him! Now you're gonna miss out on the, the hour-long fight! And I'm like... Oh no, what a tragedy. You can steal items from soldiers by putting them to sleep or knocking them out and then doing a body check. Get close to the unconscious soldier and press the action button when you see the icon. Or you can sneak up on them from behind and do a hold up. It also works if the soldier's near death. Keep in mind though, if you wait too long, you'll have a dead soldier instead of a dying one. And you can't do a body check if you're holding the Fulton recovery device either. So don't try. I like how they inform me of, like, dumb things to do. It's like, yeah, don't try and tap a body with a, uh, Fulton recovery. Doesn't work that way. Yui! Yeah, nothing new there. Eh, it's a seal with her shitloads of stuff. Do you know anything about Dr. Strange, love? Was it just the two women in the lab? Mm, most of the time, we. Oui. And one of them. You only heard her voice, right? Yes, that is correct. Such a wonderful voice. It sent chills up my spine. 
What was the other woman like? Ah, don't even think about it. She's not the slightest interest in men. No, it's part of my mission to... <laughs> Only teasing. Let me think. I believe she was in her thirties. Pretty, with a good sense of style, but austere in her days. A very unusual woman. And she was doing research on AI. AI? So that is what she was up to. You know, she did say something interesting. That people should not be going into space. That it is too dangerous. Hmm. An automated control system for rockets, then. She said something about wanting to get closer to her dying wish. I think she must have been talking about an old lover. Lover? You mean another woman? Oh, my. Aren't we curious about the women and other women? You want to hear the terrible things she tried to do to me? What? That's not what I meant. It's all right. You can be honest. <sighs> You two seem to get along awfully well together. No, no. Not at all. I think you're hiding something. <sighs> Never mind. Aren't you supposed to be looking for the Quetzal? Here, I'll demonstrate its call for you. I knew it. <laughs> what? Why do you yell out? I knew it. Okay, let's see. ID cards, birds in general, quetzals, anything else you can say? Nope, just a whole bunch of bird stuff. Let's go over this one more time. First, I need an ID card to get into the lab. That is correct. From the outside, it looks like any other rune. But on the inside, it is a state-of-the-art research facility. And your ID card got taken away from you by some guy in an orange jacket. Exactly. I had a Getzel singing nearby. It has not been that long since it happened. Hmm. It could be tricky if he's out on patrol, but if he's a stationary sentry, you don't think the Ketzel's moved? Its nest is probably nearby. I do not think it will go away anytime soon. Good. I'll get on looking for that soldier. If you forget what it sounds like, I will do the call for you again. Just give me a call anytime you'd like to hear it. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I get how the Quetzal sounds. So Dr. Strangelove is a lesbian. So, poor Huey. Ah, poor, poor Huey. <laughs> she doesn't like man-man. Snake, be careful when going through areas you've passed through before. The enemy could be waiting to ambush you. And do you know how to identify this soldier with the ID card? Yeah, yeah, yeah Zorg. Cecile told me. All right, I got you. <laughs> I don't need a complete repeating of every single action. Uh, what do I have on me that I might want to swap out? Not much. All right, let's get this party rolling. She could be by. Well, when you say she doesn't have the slightest interest in men, I'm pretty sure that means that they're not bi. Pretty sure that's what it means. Captain. All right. Frantic. We gotta find the bird. Singing close to where your target is located. Keep your ears open. Come out. All right, so basically we're looking for a dude with an orange jacket. And we're supposed to keep an ear out for the Quetzal, but I think that's like... a bit much. I don't think we're actually gonna have to care about a lot of those facts. I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, the orange thing is the is the most important thing. It's a dude in an orange jacket. Freeze. If we hear a Quetzal, then we'll deal with it then. Whoops. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. You all right? Freeze. <laughs> well, that works too. Damn it. Fucking, why does it have such a big range? I'm gonna pat this motherfucker. Give me some items, yo. 
Hey, he's got soda. Zero calorie soda. <gasps> I wish items would still pop out of a dude even if he's unconscious. But like the last two, it doesn't really add much depth to the game to make me wake up and then point my gun at him. Fulton or wake, make me wake him up before I point a gun at him. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Uh, I think this is the wall. Oh, but there's a prisoner here. Neat. <laughs> he wants to sink up. Even though we could totally just go around in the same amount of time it takes for the sinking thing to happen. Impressive. Yeah, Rantic, you're the <laughs> you're the leader. No! <laughs> See, now that might have seemed like a stupid thing to happen, but in reality, I was trying to distract him. I was trying to shoot behind him. He made him go, huh? What was that noise? So like, that way I could go behind him. Yeah, he just he just reacted to it as if he was being shot at, which is what he should have done. But I got him quickly enough. Once you know which soldier has the ID card, do a body check. To do a body check, first knock the soldier out, or put him to sleep, or hold him up. That works too. Yeah, though we have to be careful because there are guys around the area. Like that guy right there. Don't move. What are you doing? Don't move. Okay. I was like, I hope he knows about that guy in the middle of the area. Jesus Christ. The frame rate just dropped. I guess because we're in such a big area. Also, I got another battery, so that's nice. Watch there only be like... One guy in an orange jacket in this entire set of areas. Making it kind of pointless for them to go, Oh, he had to find the place with the Quetzal. Don't move. Ah! Don't move. They put such a high emphasis on us trying to like find these guys into a certain area as if they're going to be like massively hidden. But unless the next area has like only dudes with orange jackets, there was no point in doing that. Uh, I see... Nope. I see nothing. But I do see a guy in a fucking ghillie suit all the way over there. Think he's slick. I already hit him, Rantic. I know I saw something. You saw nothing. Come on, out. Somebody there? Huh, nothing. <laughs> I was about to try risking a maneuver on that guy, but eh, probably would have been a bad idea. Goodbye. Is the other guy out? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> nice. So that's it. Just two fucking sniper guys. I can't even read. I can't read names. Katarata. Katarata. 
Which sounds completely wrong. Damn, how long do we have to go? Oh, there he is. Look at that. Fucking really? Choose the item you want to drop and press the X button to drop it. <laughs> he has to drop all of his rations because of it. Alright, I'll take your rations. Doesn't make sense. Shouldn't it just get sent to an area? Alright, let's get a move on. That was so dumb. They hyped it up as like it was gonna be this thing where we had to like find a guy in like a specific area. No, he's just sitting by himself in some random ass fucking cliff place. I mean they might as well have just said, look for the guy with an orange jacket. That's it. Alright. I'm just gonna give the game the benefit of the doubt and imagine that the area does not in fact have Refilled enemy numbers. <laughs> so we're just gonna run straight back to the AI laboratory. Come out. Yeah, well, it doesn't look like they really filled anything. Also, I really like the sneaking suit. God! It makes the game so phenomenally easy easier. I might as well be cheating. Just being able to run around no matter what. No, I can't go up that way. I can run, no one will hear me. I can just run up behind and go, go, hey, sup, all right, I win. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> go, go, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like sitting there talking to you. Go, go, go. <laughs> You can do it, Ratzik, I believe in you! Go, go, go! Psh, they didn't refill the other area, so we'll be fine. See? I am a genius like that. Although a stronger genius would put a new enemy type here. Uh, I think it's over on this side. Yep, here we go. 